So we just wrapped up day one of trapping blacktail prairie dogs for our translocation here in southeastern Arizona. At the end of day one, we trapped 51 prairie dogs and we're moving them into our truck shells. This will help keep them out of the elements overnight, keep them off the ground from predators, and make sure they're safe and ready to go for us to continue trapping tomorrow. Here it goes. Everything's secure over there. Yeah, we're just trying to figure out coteries again at that point. It's yeah. a little open-ended. Okay. Like okay. All right. <laughs> Ready, team, break. Mm -hmm. It's pretty early. It's about 6.15, 6.30 in the morning. So the prairie dogs haven't woken up yet. So we are setting these traps in the hopes that they wake up hungry. And they're going to go in and... Uh, Set them off and we'll catch them. So we are in southeastern Arizona, nestled in between the Santa Ritas and the Whetstone Mountains, right near the town of Sonoida. It's really great to have a good relationship with landowners across the state. We are on private property. This is the second time we've actually been able to trap from this location and use it to create other colonies in the state. You know, these guys don't get nearly enough credit for what the for the work that they do. They're little ecosystems and engineers on the landscape, the grasslands. It's important to conserve and protect these guys, whether people realize it or not. They were entirely wiped out in the state by the 1960s. There was a lot of kind of misunderstanding on how important these prairie dogs are for the ecosystem. We call them ecosystem engineers because their burrows are just so important for so many other species, for water retention, for you know different grass growth. They just really contribute to the ecosystem as a whole as well as being you know the ultimate prey species for so many predators. We have the traps numbered based on the little coterie groups that they're interacting with each other. In 2008, or a little bit before 2008, we really started you know, working towards reintroducing them to the state. For this translocation, we'd like to move anywhere from 60 to 100 blacktail prairie dogs. So once we trap them, we bring the cages back to our processing area. Where are you? We're pit tagging them so we can track, you know, if we catch them three years from now, we'll know that they were moved from, from this colony at this time and, and, you know, have an idea of how long they're living and how they're doing. Uh, 1,600. We're weighing them and then we're sexing them. Girl. Female? Right. Yeah. Yep. Cage number three. And from there, we're moving them into holding cages with their family groups. <laughs> Las Cienegas National Conservation Area is mostly BLM land and also a little bit of state trust land. It's the area that we first um, started our reintroductions in 2008. We've got three colonies already in the area, and so we're looking to add a fourth. Okay, cage number 20 you can go to 19. 19. So right now, I'm looking at where we trapped each individual on the source colony so that I can kind of recreate an exact layout of that source colony here at the release site just to prevent, you know, any fighting and help them coexist in the way that they were before. So we have worked with the BLM 
and they came out with their backhoe and we dug burrows in the ground about six feet deep. It's not as easy as you know you might think to get these guys set up on the landscape. We do a lot of work beforehand to prepare a colony. We dig them their own burrows because there aren't any remnant on the landscape from when they used to be here. Here's our guy. Number one. Down the hole. Yay. Well, kind of want to watch, make sure they don't come back out. <laughs> All right. So we will put them directly down the holes. And when they come up above ground, they will want to start, I mean, their natural instinct is to start digging. <laughs> and typically when an animal starts digging and making holes, they're more likely to stay where you, where you release them. You know, it feels really good to be able to put these guys back where they used to be. Well, I think it's it's great. You know, it's gonna restore things to a natural balance. That was a relatively painless one. Prairie dogs were here historically. They're part of the system. They need to be here again. Oh, he's huge. He's really huge. In the hole, man, in the hole. <laughs> Ready for another one? Yeah. Yeah. 